What's up guys, it's Criddle here from the Anime Ball Z team with another This Is. This time we are going to be looking at a slice of life series which is very unusual for me to take a look at because everyone knows that I'm not a huge fan of the Hurry Suzumiya's or the Lucky Stars or anything like that. I just like the songs that go along with them. However, this time we are taking a look at a series that actually has managed to catch my eye. It is... Daily Lives of High School Boys. Now I know what you're thinking, you don't like the girl anime but now you like these guys that are just acting like absolute weirdos? That's a bit odd, but no, nothing like that. This is just a very interesting series, and it's a slice of life series from a guy's perspective, which you don't see very often. But before we get too far into it, let's go and get ourselves completely off the tracks. So, Daily Lives of High School Boys is one of those slice of life series that has no plot. It's not designed to have a plot. It's a series of short stories about three high school boys that are uh, just, you know, running around in their daily lives. See what I did there? I just connected the title with the plot and all that sort of stuff. There's no real plot as such, but anyway, that's what we've got. So the first character of the series that we'll have a look at is Tadakuni, who is essentially the straight man of the comedy trio that makes up this series. The boys get up to a lot of antics, like, or for example, wearing sisters' clothing and stuff like that, and just being absolute perverts most of the time. And it's just one of those series where boys are discovering themselves and just living out life and just doing those silly things that boys do, like play with sticks and pretend they're swords and stuff like that, and don't really care what girls have to say about it and all that sort of stuff. Hidenori is the second character of the trio, who is the essentially the schemer of the group, the one that is most likely to get the three into trouble, and he's the one that usually is setting up these ideas like, hey, why don't we all try on your sister's panties, or why don't we all try on her skirts, or why don't we wear them on our heads, or something like that, and just steal her clothing, and if we get caught, your fault, not mine. And Yoshitake is the third member of the group who just really goes along with Hidenori's plans, which really just meshes the group quite well. It's a really good balance between the trio of this not really wanting to get involved but being suckered in and the two that are sort of making the plans and going along with the plans and all that sort of stuff. So it makes for a very interesting series to watch. The series also makes light of the fact that there is no fourth wall. They know that they are in an anime and they've actually made the point of, you know, why are we doing, you know, a summer episode as like our second episode? This doesn't make any sense. We should be doing the winter episodes before we do the summer episodes. And all that stuff that's sort of like the tropes of the slice of life anime that you uh, everyone's accustomed to with all the other series is not the case in this series. It's just one of those weird series where you enjoy it and it, it's it's funny and it's just fluff that you can sort of sit down and watch a few episodes and you can have them sitting on the background because you're not going to miss anything. Unfortunately this series hasn't been dubbed so I can't talk about the voice actors behind the series and there's not a lot going on. You can't get plot holes out of a series without a plot. You can't have an abridged series when the series has only been out a little while, and even then it wouldn't be a good abridged series because you can't essentially have an abridged series with a series that doesn't have dubbed voice actors because the entire purpose of a, you know, a bridge series is to make light of the voice acting in the original series and have a bit of fun with the plot and, you know, do the sort of stuff that Yu Gi Oh! Bridge did originally before it became meme driven and all of that sort of stuff where all of that became an absolute massive circle joke in that cluster of abridges. But that's beside the point. So, Daily Lives of High School Boys is a series that I give a 6 out of 9. For whatever reason, I always deem 6 to mean bad, but it's still better than 50%. So, it's a decent series. Again, I'm not a huge fan of the Slice of Life series, but I did find this series entertaining at the very least. So it's definitely a series you should take check. So it's definitely a series you should check out if you are into that sort of fluff Slice of Life series, and you don't need anything with the discernible plot to sort of mentally stimulate you or anything like that. Anyway, I've been Criddle. This has been the Daily Lives of High School Boys, and I'll catch you guys on the flip side.